You go and... Oh my gosh, Lily isn't here again. Every time we travel, she ends up escaping somehow. Oh, we've got to spin for a new world and the, a new type of house we're going to move into. First is new world. Where are we moving to? <laughs> Hey it's Elias and welcome back to some more Sims 4 Spin the Wheel where we are just going to be continuing from where I left off in the last video. We've got a birthday today. A little Coleman is aging up into a child so we've got to be sure to do that at some point today. We're also pregnant with triplets. Yeah we are pregnant with triplets. And life is going to get a lot more hectic, like crazy hectic. We're also thinking about moving and we have our bestie, well not our bestie, no, where is she? Lily is supposed to be in our basement, okay. We've gotta sort this out. Layla, wake up and invite Lily over. Something that we spun last episode is that we've gotta complete our aspiration. So we are in the process of doing that and that's what we've gotta do before we can move out. So we're moving out of this place, moving out of this world and starting fresh somewhere else, Lily will be over over, so we've got to get her into the basement. You know what, Layla, you go to bed and I'll get Caleb to get her into the basement. <gasps> She's here already. We're going to say hey and then we're going to straight away add her into a group. And Lily, would you kindly follow us down here into the basement? Oh wait, I've got to unlock the door. Let's unlock it and get her to follow us. Oh no, Caleb's gone to work. Okay, well, Layla, you're going to have to be the one to do it. So let's add her into a group again and bring her down into the basement. I know you're tired, but let's just do this quickly. We received so much money last episode from our bestie, Bess. She gave us 25,000 simoleons because we were contributing to her business. So that's actually really exciting. We're going to be able to get a really good house once we move. Are you going to be able to go down that ladder since you're pregnant? Okay, you're doing well. Lily, are you following? Did you break my sink? She's not even following you. Oh my gosh. Oh, we've got work in an hour. Oh my gosh, we haven't slept. Oh, it's because I locked this door. Oh my gosh. You okay. Stupid. It was the, my bad, guys. It was all me. I unlocked one door and I forgot to unlock the other. Okay, now she's in here. I'm going to lock door for everyone but Layla. And then when Caleb comes home, we're going to give him access. Because I don't want the toddlers waddling in there, you know? You barely have time, but I really want you to get some rest. It's not good for a pregnant woman to go to work tired and hungry. Oh, wait, and it's too late. Okay. You know what? No. We are going to get you to take family leave. Eve. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. You're pregnant, you're tired, you're hungry. You're not in the condition to do your best work. Oh, you can't take family leave yet? Okay, I guess it's just gonna have to be a vacation day. Take a vacation day and let's go and sort out your needs. Oh, and that's actually a whim. Like she actually wanted to take a vacation day. Kids, how are you? You're a little hungry and you are also a little hungry. You guys can't eat this for some reason. Oh yeah, I figured out what was wrong with the counters because all last episode, Layla couldn't cook. And it's because there are these mini counters behind the normal counters, which is so odd. So I'm gonna delete that and this coffee machine. And this counter should fit and it should work. We'll just have to see how that goes. Caleb, you are almost home. I'm just gonna get you to work hard. Do we have anything in the fridge for you guys? We have brownies, not the healthiest option, but at least it's food. So you guys go and eat. Mum is sleeping. We've gotta go to the night market tonight because that is something we've gotta do. We've gotta buy food there and we've got to buy a shirt and we've got to cook one more thing from the tomorani cuisine like menu okay caleb you're home you can just clean up the house like the kids are making a mess the sink is broken we've got food that should probably go in the fridge Lily said she's leaving, but you can't leave. I'm actually gonna unlock a door for Caleb and do the same thing for the one up here. Okay, the kids are happy. Did you eat? Uh, I don't think it was very filling for you, which makes sense. Yeah, you just go to sleep. Get out of my hair. You've got to age up. I've got to remember to do that. It's so nice having a vampire husband because he does everything super fast. Oh yeah, we've got to remember to keep up our trendy grind. Our store was doing really well. Like we were selling out super fast. So yeah, I've got to keep creating fashion looks. There's just so much to do. Okay, Layla, let's get you to wake up, go pee, and then we're going to make one more thing using the pressure cooker. Oh, we've got something in there. Okay, let's grab all the servings. Victor is calling us and it's about hanging out with someone else. Okay. As long as you're happy, Victor. Oh my gosh, Layla is so excited to have her baby. She's just feeling good. She's married. She's pregnant. Her kids are growing up. Life is actually going well for her. Like she's got a great job. She's level seven. Like she's a proper chef. Her online business is doing well. We got quite a lot of money from our day off. Okay, so you've got that. Why don't you go make something else? 
Oh, Caleb likes video gaming. Oh my gosh, both of you like video gaming. You guys can have like a video gaming night or something. And then teach the kids once they grow older. That is actually really cute. Oh my gosh, Victor. Oh my gosh, every time he wants to hang out tonight. Well, you guys know the drill. Let's spin this wheel and see if we're going out with Victor. I really hope we're not. No, oh my gosh. <laughs> We've got, we need to go to the night market so we can complete our aspiration. He wants to go to the bluffs and I want to go to the night market. Okay, you know what? We're going to go. Should we invite Caleb? No, Caleb can stay home with the, the kids. We're going to go. I hope Caleb trusts us. Even though we are a dirty, lying cheater, I'm hoping he trusts us to just go and hang out with Victor. Yes, we cheated on him with Victor, but I feel like Layla is a changed person. Okay, we're partying with club friends. Oh, it's the mummies club? We're partying with the rest of the mummies club. Okay, that's not too bad. Where's the party though? There's like no one here but me and Victor. Okay, well, we're hungry. Let's go and like light this fire. Maybe we can roast some marshmallows or something. There are bushes here. Not for woohooing. Not for woohooing. Victor's gone off. Okay, whatever. Let's, um, let's add some fuel and then can we roast anything? We cannot. Well, that just ruined my entire plan. Literally, the rest of the club isn't here. He's gone to dive. Did he ask us out on a date? Victor, we called off our romantic relationship last episode. Like, it's legit just us two. This is really romantic as well. Look at this view that we have. How can you tell me this isn't romantic? Like, he's definitely trying to let us know that he still has feelings and we just don't have those feelings for him. We're happily married. Layla, you should be careful. You are heavily pregnant and Victor, Victor, why are you shirtless? Are you trying to show me something? Because I am enjoying the view, but you should have clothes on. It's cold. We haven't told Victor that we're pregnant, so we're just gonna share the big news and let him know that we're carrying a baby. You know, I think it's a good, oh my gosh. Look, it's the little monster. You can actually see it. <laughs> yeah, we're just trying to give him hints that we're not looking for anything romantic. It is getting late. The sun is setting. No, this is actually so beautiful. But it is getting quite late and we do really need to go to the night market. So, Victor, I'm going to end this early and we're going to head home. Oh, actually, no. I'm going to travel normally because the night market actually isn't in our neighborhood. So, we'd have to travel like this anyway. I mean, you know what? We'll invite Kate. Caleb and Victor, maybe they can squash their beef. I don't know if that's gonna happen. They might actually end up hating each other even more, which would make more sense. Oh, it's raining here, okay. Well, Layla, you haven't eaten at all today. So, where, here's the night market. Let's go and buy some food. We've got a seller here. I think you're selling like merchandise. We need food in our system. Let's order some tofu pad thai. And then Caleb, oh, Caleb's hungry. I mean, oh, and Victor just left. Okay, I was about to say, we could just eat Victor, but he just left. He saw Caleb and was like, yeah, no. <laughs> I do not want to be here. If I find anyone, I'll let you go and feed off of them. I'm not seeing anyone around here though. Okay, that ticks off of the list. Let's go and buy some merchandise. Let's buy local attire. Um, buy layered halter buy striped shirt. It has to be a shirt, right? Yeah, let's go buy a shirt. I hope this doesn't replace the one that you're wearing right now. Okay, and we're on to the next part of our aspiration. Collect unique tassels. That's three. Can we just buy it? If we can just buy it, I will be so happy. Okay, a light green tassel, a pink tassel, and oh, that's it. They've only got two. Okay, what about you down here? Oh, you're selling food. Anyone else selling merchandise? I think there's only one stall. All of the rest sell food. Okay, well, we're gonna have to like go on a hunt for the last tassel. We've got to explore the Tomaran cave and we've got to explore the tiger sanctuary, which we already did, but we'll do it again. And we've got to view the statue of Kunmei and the tiger. All right, I think we can get a lot of this stuff done tonight, especially since we have work tomorrow, I believe. And once we have triplets, we're not gonna have time for all this stuff. Oh, we've got to age up a little Coleman as well. Okay, let's just get as much of our aspiration done tonight as we can. I'm pretty sure the caves, are the caves around here? I think all these things are in our part of the world. So let's go home because we can do them from home. Okay, Caleb, you are hungry. Wait, how are the kids? The kids are always the most important thing. They're pretty good. They're just both a little stinky. We will sort them out later. You go and... Oh my gosh, Lily isn't here again. Every time we travel, she ends up escaping somehow, which is not good. We've got to keep her on a tight leash. Now you, Layla, 
We need to go and explore those caves. Oh, and I found the tiger sanctuary, which we can't see until daylight, okay? We can sneak in, but I don't know how we're gonna do that when we're pregnant. I think we'll be like too tired, way too exhausted to do that. Now, where's this cave entrance? How is she gonna swim across from there all the way over here? to get to this cave entrance while pregnant. Okay, I'm gonna get her to go here and we'll see if she can do it. Oh, and Lily's here. Lily, stop escaping, please. Add to group and we're gonna unlock this and unlock the door downstairs and get her in here. Okay, she's coming. So you go in there and then I lock the door. If you guys have any methods on how to keep Lily in our basement and our little dungeon, even when we're not here, let me know. Even if it's a mod, let me know if if there are any because she keeps escaping and it is kind of irritating okay caleb you go take a shower and then start giving the toddlers a bath we should probably get them a cake as well Layla, oh my gosh, she actually made it across. I am so impressed, Layla. You know what? She has been taking an interest in fitness. So that might have something to do with it. Oh, and it's a full moon. So we've got a lot of like mist. It's really high in the sky. But okay, let's go and explore this cave, which hopefully this is a little bit of fun at least. No, it's not. Okay. Ooh, did you hear that? Layla's eyes struggle to adjust to the cave's darkness. All she can do is stumble around, arms stretched forward, hoping not to trip over any rocks. A faint sound suddenly catches her attention skittering squeaking and is that whispering frightened Layla freezes in place could someone or something be in the cave with her an animal a ghost should we take a deep breath and listen or call out into the darkness um I don't know oh wait we should randomize this oh my gosh okay we've got an option one and an option two wheel let's see what fate is saying fate hasn't done us dirty on these kind of wheels yet it's saying we should choose option two when we had that work wheel we actually got money and a skill gain so maybe fate will help us out now we're gonna call out into the darkness did you hear that the whispering sounds intensify and almost feel like they're getting closer a cold, musty gust of wind picks up from the same direction, tousling Layla's hairs, uh, goosebumps ripple across her skin, and every hair stands on end. G -g -g ghost <laughs> She turned around and ran in the opposite direction, not sticking around to find out. Okay, is she gonna run out of the cave then? Yeah, she ran out of the cave, but she did complete a part of her aspiration. Um, we can't do any beach combing, which kind of sucks because we could probably find like a tassel in the sand. Okay, you're peeing in the bush currently. Why don't you come and see what this is? This could potentially be a tassel. At home, what are you guys doing? You are, oh wait, we never drank from Lily. I just realized we locked her in and we didn't drink from her. So let's go ahead and we are too uncomfortable. Oh wait, this sim has been dragged from recently. Oh, seriously? That was like a couple days ago. Okay, well you're bathing, Laurie. You're just being a good dad. I'm gonna leave you to it. You are doing that and we found a rose. It was a tassel. Okay, well, we tried. Why don't you head back home? We literally just need one more and then we're done. We're not done, but we will finish that top part. Let's actually try and find this statue because all we have to do is view it. Is it this? Oh my gosh, it's right outside our house. That is super convenient. I'm so happy we live on this lot. It is a pretty cool statue. Oh my gosh, the tiger has a rose in its mouth. Okay, so that has been done. We've got to explore the tiger sanctuary, which we can easily do in the morning. Okay, Layla, you have done some great work. Oh yeah, we've got to age up Coleman. All right, before we go to bed, let's go and make a cake. You know, we've got to age up our son. So we'll make a cute little, um, I don't know, let's make a strawberry cake. Oh, this food has gone off. I did not put it in the fridge, so it has spoiled. Damn, Layla, why are you so mad? You are really hungry. I don't think there's anyone out because there's a thunderstorm, so you're gonna have to stay hungry. Oh, I guess you could order some plasma packs. But to do that, you're gonna have to get the vampire, what's it called, the, the, the skill? Vampire law skill, yeah. So we might have to work on that as well. Oh, and Laurie and Caleb are jokesters. That is so cute. Why is there negative, like, interaction? What's going on? Well, let's give the birthday boy some attention. He's slowly becoming more and more like a vampire. You know, he's gonna have to learn the vampire way. And dad's gonna teach him. Oh, look at the family. Just hanging out at 4 a.m. Normal things. Everyone's like, mom, is the cake ready yet? Is the cake ready yet? I'm hungry. Okay, let's add some birthday candles. And let's age up a little 
little Coleman. Oh my gosh, these kids are actually growing up so quickly. Like, I feel like Coleman was born the other day. But okay, it's time for you to become a child. And that means you're going to be able to do things on your own without the need of a parent in the room or anything. Woo, Coleman. You are now a child. And Laurie's going to age up soon too because they're like a similar age. Okay, Coleman. Woo. All right. So we we just randomized their traits, right? So one, two, three. Oh, you're neat. I kind of love that. And for aspiration, um, your skills are pretty good. I'm thinking maybe we do a multi-skill. Are we really going to have slumber? parties maybe mind and body that that could be fun okay coleman you are now a child let's bring you into cast and give you some cc okay so you've got some interesting cc on um let me see what you have on first we should probably give you your birth mark if i can find it. it's this one let's take off some of this random stuff okay you look cute his eyes are so small where did you get the small eyes from Probably, no, Caleb's eyes are pretty big. And Layla's eyes are pretty, yeah, Layla's eyes are like a decent size. So where did you get such small eyes from? Guys, I just looked online and apparently the eye thing is a bug with Caleb's genetics, which is so odd. Like when you have a child with Caleb, their eyes aren't genetically the same as either of the parents. Like their eyes appear smaller like this. So I'm just gonna make Coleman's eyes a little bit bigger, just so it makes sense because this is a bug. I didn't even know this was a thing but apparently it is and it only happens with Caleb and Lilith so yeah I've just made his eyes a little bit bigger just to make it make sense oh uh, we've got to give him this hair oh my gosh yeah like the super anime hair <laughs> he is a vampire I feel like we could get away with something like this I just realized Coleman doesn't genetically have freckles I don't know why the game gave that to him and I just kept it because I thought it was genetic but no neither of his parents have freckles so let me take those off so we're keeping the vampire vampire theme very much alive we've got more modern vampire and more traditional vampire like his father and here are just a few of his outfits yes we're going all black like when he was an infant and now a child oh and a toddler all black everything i just do that for my vampires i don't know maybe add a little bit of red in there too but okay here is coleman okay we've got a child in the house which is so fun let's actually update your room we're not gonna do anything crazy because we are moving so i think what i'm gonna do i'll get rid of your changing table we shall not be selling tibbet we're keeping him safe um i'll get rid of all like your toddler stuff your toddler bed and i'll move your dollhouse over here you broke it again oh my gosh let's get you a bed um i think i want to make once we move i want to make your bedroom a little bit more vampiric right now it's looking a little too cute which nothing wrong with cute but we're going with the dark theme for him on his cute little poster which we we haven't gotten any information about our tiger yet we should probably like follow up on that like online but okay kids it is 5 a.m how's everyone feeling layla you are so tired go and get some rest caleb you are just hungry um we're just gonna have to wait till more people are out on the street oh wait i see someone over here okay someone's going for a jog and someone oh kyle carlson i bet his blood is delicious let's go and compel for deep drink you're doing pretty well why don't you go and take a piece of your cake you are also a little hungry oh mom's gonna feed you oh wait no mom what is she doing where is she bringing you i don't know she just brought you to the hallway okay go and get some cake and then i'm gonna get you to go to bed when do you age up you age up tomorrow so not today but monday oh and it is a sunday so you don't have school which is fun okay caleb how are you doing buddy are you gonna is it gonna be successful because it is the morning okay it is successful nice so there we go we're eating what's the point of having a hostage if we can't drink from them when we want to you know like they're just living here for free basically oh my gosh coleman you're just like your father you're like cleaning up after everyone I love that. So freaking sweet. Why don't you go and do your homework and then maybe we can do some of your aspirations. Oh, and now Caleb is thinking about embracing the neat trait, the same trait that Coleman now has. 
like father like son we should probably get caleb to get his vampire skill up so uh oh you're too tense no don't be mean to coleman why do you guys play a video game together play with coleman yeah that could be fun oh my gosh you guys are so cute i think you guys are gonna have such a strong bond such a strong dynamic as well but okay you're awake you're gonna go and pee and you definitely need a shower we've got to get on our aspiration do we have any more after this? Oh, this is the last part. Okay, I'm so happy. I did not want to do any more. We might actually take another day off of work just because we're really feeling the pregnancy now. We finally have family leave. So let's go and take some family leave. Okay, Caleb, you're feeling playful. Go ahead and research vampires. You should probably know quite a bit about vampires since you know you are one. And I think you've been one for a really long time. Okay, she still can't get to the kitchen. Why can't you like use the counters? I don't get it. I'm just gonna take everything. Oops, I'm gonna take everything off of the counters. Can you use it now? Okay, I really don't know what's wrong with this kitchen. It's like it doesn't work. I don't know. Well, we're getting a new one soon anyway. Just get some cake and then we can start our day. Can we also get an update on like our tiger? Is there a way to do that? We have to visit the sanctuary today anyway, so I guess we'll see okay so Layla's just getting the mail i don't know what this is for oh it's probably because of coleman aging up okay that's probably the reason now we are able to go to the sanctuary where is it i think it's over here all the way across town so let's go we can still support or we can donate i want to know more about my tiger and while we're going there i'm gonna look out for like more rocks and stuff that we can dig and potentially get one of these tassels okay we've done that part of the aspiration you can leave now um it is a thunderstorm but we're so close to finishing this aspiration like so close all we need is one more tassel and that's it we're just gonna have a look in some of these places i don't know maybe we can do some fishing okay i'm also gonna get caleb to help her so he he's super fast so he'll be a little bit more helpful and i'll get him to just go and swiftly dig up some rocks maybe he can do some fishing as well all right layla's giving up oh and you're gonna pee yourself no okay well once you pee yourself you should probably come and take a shower and then go get some sleep you've been working really really hard you did not find a tassel okay oh my gosh caleb found it caleb found the last tassel and layla has completed her aspiration okay so she's now got the tomerang expert trait and we can now move out of tomerang and move out of this house and start fresh with our twins which we are currently in our third trimester yeah we're gonna pop soon but before we move we've got a couple spins we've got to do so first we've got to spin for a brand new aspiration and we haven't spun the drama wheel all episode the more our life progresses the less we're spinning the wheel have you noticed that so i'm definitely going to spin the drama wheel before we move but first let's spin for a brand new aspiration i'm hoping something easy no not eco eco innovator okay so this is our next aspiration we don't have to complete it or anything but you know it's there and now let's spin the wheel of drama please can it be something simple nothing crazy <gasps> Ooh. Oh, it was so close to move home. I think that's moved to a tiny home. But okay, we've got to host a social event. That is actually quite a lot of fun. Maybe we can host a housewarming party once we move, which I guess we can just move now. Oh, we've got to spin for a new world and the, a new type of house we're going to move into. First is new world. Where are we moving to? If it says Tomerang, I'm literally going to cry. <gasps> Ooh, Chestnut Ridge. Okay. If you don't know, this one comes with the Horse Ranch expansion pack. And now let's spin for a type of home. Let's see. I'm hoping it's not a tiny home. Please, please. <gasps> Oh, a little cottage, a little cottage in Chestnut Ridge. Well, not little, it's gotta be a pretty big cottage because we've got a lot of kids. But okay, we're moving to Chestnut Ridge and it's gonna be in a cute little cottage somewhere. And we're gonna host a social event, a housewarming party. Should I spin for a social event? I don't have a social event wheel. That's the only thing. I'd have to create a brand new wheel and that could take me some time. I'll see if there's one online. And if there isn't an already created one, then I'm just gonna choose a house party so we can have a housewarming party party it just makes the most sense but okay let's start packing 
Let's make sure to bring what's important, like Tibbet, the certificates and stuff. Oh, we've got to make sure we have our little trendy thing, which I keep saying we've got to do it and I just keep forgetting. So yeah, we'll put that in our inventory. Once we move, we'll start up the trendy business again. Oh, our degree and stuff. How could I forget? Okay, I'm pretty sure that's everything. We've made some good memories in this house, but it's time for something new. And Lily will be coming with us. I'm thinking we move to this cute... 40 by 30 lot i've actually never lived down here i think 40 by 30 is a good size you know let me see how much money we would have if we were to sell all our furniture oh wow we have 113,000 simoleons so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna evict this family sorry and i'm gonna demolish this lot even though this house is so pretty and then i'm going to move my sims onto the empty lot and then from there we can find a cute little cottage that we can put down so this is the cute little cottage i found on the gallery made by this very talented simmer this place is so cute it's so big as well it fits really well on the 40 by 30 lot it is facing the wrong way but who cares we've got our living room very cozy a lot of detail like look at this and then we've got our kitchen it's not as big as our old kitchen but it's very rustic and homey feeling and we've also got stairs going downstairs which we'll check out the basement in a second we've got a whole greenhouse which this place was definitely built for a spellcaster which you never know we could end up spinning to become a spellcaster so this place could potentially come in handy and then we've got the dining table we've got a cute little room for coleman he just aged up and he's got a room all to himself it is a very cottage feeling it's not very vampiric but I think I'm gonna keep it this way just so it suits the rest of the house a little bit more again we could spin to do a room renovation and we could choose this room and renovate it to be more vampiric so I'm gonna keep it like this and let the wheel decide how the rooms end up looking we've got this super cute like bedroom which um I need to figure out what's gonna happen with the twin not the twins the triplets and what's gonna happen with Laurie and this is the master bedroom it's very cute very quaint and I actually actually really like these patterns i've never seen these chairs before but they look really cool the basement has a really cool cellar for like nectar making which we probably won't be doing unless we spin it and it has space for us to make lily's little area so i'm thinking we maybe choose this wall i might have to sell these pots and add like a little room just coming off of here i do want to do like the whole bunker thing that i said i think it was the last episode where lily has like her own kitchen and stuff or maybe we can turn it into a rental so she technically lives in our basement but it wouldn't be like kidnapped it would be just renting out the basement i don't know let me know what you guys think turning it into a rental would solve our issue of her disappearing when we go off the lot but it would take away from the whole kidnapping vibe so i'm really not sure i'm gonna need you guys to let me know down below in the comments i'm gonna get her a little cooler so she can eat food and i'm might get her a toilet as well and maybe a bed too so she can go to sleep when we go to sleep because again we don't want to kill her at least not right now okay so she's got a cute little setup down here and now we've got to sort out where Lori's gonna sleep and where we're gonna fit the triplets i'm thinking we turn this into the triplets nursery and Lori gets her own room I don't know where I would put it though. It would have to be off of this living room, I think. Oh, actually, maybe Laurie and Coleman can share a room because we're gonna have a lot of kids. So we're gonna have to make these kids share. And so Coleman could get the top bunk and then Laurie is still a toddler. So she's gonna need a little toddler bed down here at the bottom. Okay, so yeah, these two will share a room. Oh, we're gonna need like toddler toys and stuff. And let me actually prep this room for the triplets. So I'm gonna sell their bed and just sell most of the stuff that they do not need right now like they don't need a desk i might give you guys a dual desk so you can get work done one of you can use the typewriter is there a typewriter anywhere else in this house like is there another place to use a computer it's only in this room so i might actually put this on the kitchen table so you two can do homework at the same time i might actually move this dollhouse in here too hopefully they can still use it 
we actually now have 9,000 simoleons after selling all that stuff. So we should have money for the triplets. I'm actually not going to get them any cribs yet. So I'm going to keep this room fairly empty. Let me actually get a changing table as well. That's pretty important. I might change this into a rocking chair just so the adults have somewhere to sit when they are like breastfeeding or just hanging out with the infants when they become infants. Okay, cool. So that's all of like the renovations I'm going to do. We've got 10,000 simoleons in our pocket right now, which is actually really good. Okay, guys. So welcome home. You know, what? let me save. Just, I did a lot of stuff and I haven't saved. So let me save just in case. Okay, so this is our new home. Let me assign you guys to your beds. So Caleb, you never sleep, but I'll assign that side to you. Layla, this side is for you. Common, this is your bed. And Laurie, I can't assign you a toddler bed. You are tired, so why don't you go and get some sleep? Oh, I've got to put down the stuff that's in our inventory, right? So we've got the baby certificates. I'll put that in the parents' bedroom just here. And we've also got our marriage certificate, which is really cool. Our degree can go in our living room. So everyone knows that we've graduated on our trendy thing. Um, where can this go? I might have to get rid of these cabinets. Or can it go in the bedroom? You know what? It can go in the bedroom. I, oh, this area is cute, but we need the space. This can go in the dining room when we have our mummy's time. Oh no, it can go in here. Yeah, that can go in the living room. When mommy's club is activated, I'm going to sell this. And oh my gosh, there's a little bird. What the hell? I can just about fit it here. Okay, that should still work, I'm hoping. And we've got our little poster, which this can go in the kids' room. And we cannot forget about Tibbet. Where is he? Put him right here. Oh my gosh, Caleb, stop. Leave it alone. You know what? If you're going to break it, you're going to repair it. So this is our home and this is our brand new neighborhood. We're really out here in Chestnut Ridge. Wow. Layla, you're super tired. You should go to bed. Oh, and I've got to spin what social event we've got to host. I did quickly put together a wheel with social events which this is a brand new wheel that's going to be added to the list that I usually put in the pinned comments. So yeah, if you do want any of these wheels, they are in the pinned comments down below. But okay, let's do a spin. I didn't add wedding to the wheel because you can only do a wedding if you have a sim who's engaged. So I didn't add it and we spun toddler play date luckily we have a toddler in our household so we've got to have a toddler play date with laurie and some other random toddlers it is your birthday tomorrow so we might actually make it a toddler play date birthday kind of situation that actually pans out really well surprisingly okay while well, you're sleeping actually go to bed layla you're gonna be giving birth any minute now so you need to get prepared for that you are oh you're hanging out with coleman oh please invite Lily back over. We've got a whole dungeon for her now. We should probably get you Coleman to do some of your aspiration. You've got to achieve a level three mentor. I'm wondering. Oh my gosh, we've got little like sheep and goats. Oh, and we've actually got like a proper garden. No, we've got a garden. Oh, and Lily's here. Um, Lily, one second. I want to get a telescope for Coleman so he can get his mental skill up. A cute little telescope just outside the house. So Coleman, why don't you go and moon gaze and then Caleb, let's go and invite Lily in. Add her to um, group. Oh, we are feeling a little hungry. So once we get her down in the basement, we will definitely be drinking from her. All right, let's get her downstairs. Come on, Lily, take your sweet time. And then let's lock this door for everyone but Caleb and then we're going to allow access to Layla and now we can go ahead and drink hopefully the cooldown has ended okay cool let's compel for a deep drink nice everything's really like working out everything's falling into place and we love that okay so Lily welcome home oh my gosh and Caleb's doing some gardening that's so cute I've got to remember that we need to like feed these sheep or else they are gonna die. We do have some prairie grass. I guess if I just keep filling up this feeder, then they'll just eat from that. So let's go and refill it. And maybe Caleb will pick up gardening. I think that would be really cute. Do we have anything in the greenhouse? We've got a lot of potions, but do we have like any plants? I don't think we do. I think that could be a cute little hobby for Caleb. We're out in the country in like a cottage, a pretty big cottage. And 
you know, we're like far away from the city, far away from the beach and kind of secluded. Great for a vampire. Oh my gosh, Lori stinks. Let's get your dad to give you a bath. Stop going downstairs to talk to Lily, stop. I might have to lock this door for everyone because people keep coming down here. When I say people, I mean Caleb and Layla. They keep using the toilet, wanting to sleep in Lily's bed. So I might just lock this door for everyone and unlock it once Caleb needs to feed. Okay, Lori's getting her bath. Layla is hungry yeah let's test this kitchen because the other one that we had was super buggy so let's make some dinner for everyone serve some franks and beans sure okay it works that's great i think the other kitchen was just kind of glitched so now we can actually get our cooking skill up which is good that will be great for work which we have not been focusing on oh let's actually plan the toddler play date for today so we're gonna add an event and it's gonna be a toddler play date i don't think we need to know any toddlers because we know none okay toddler play date uh we will be the caregiver the host toddler will be Lori, and we can't invite any toddlers because we don't know any. Okay, well, I'm just gonna have to cheat and summon some random toddlers to our lot. Weird, I know, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, they've all turned up. Let's go and give them a friendly introduction, and then we're gonna get them to leave. Damn, you have a lot of blush on your face. Okay, kids, you can go now. I don't need to know you. Goodbye. Ooh, and Layla is thinking about getting a new job. Wait, no, no, no. We worked so hard to get to this position. I'm not letting you jeopardize that because you want a new job, okay? If we spin it, we spin it, but no way. We're level seven of the culinary career. And you know the bills for this house are gonna be crazy. So we need the money. But okay, we can continue with the preparations for the toddler play date. So host caregiver us, host toddler Laurie, guest toddler, these four random toddlers. We're gonna do it here and we're gonna do it at, we'll do it at like 3 p.m. because you already know our hands are gonna be full with the triplets. Ooh, Caleb has discovered a vampire tome. So uh, do we have to buy that? I'm pretty sure we do. Okay, well, let's go ahead and go to one of the many bookshelves we have and let's purchase Vampirica Volume 1. And let's start reading. The only reason we're doing this is so that you can actually purchase plasma packs. And this will be great for Coleman when he ages up into a teen. So you guys don't have to go out and hurt people, which we do have Lily in the basement, but I feel like Coleman doesn't need to know about that as a teen. Oh my gosh, and Layla has gone into labor. Okay, Caleb, put that book down. We've got to go to the hospital. And when I mean we, I mean you guys. You guys go ahead and have these babies. Oh my gosh, are they going to be vampires like Coleman? Or are they going to be human like Laurie? Or will some of them be vampires? Some of them not? Are they going to be identical triplets? Oh my gosh, I have so many questions and I can't wait for them to be answered. Okay, you guys are off. Yeah, the side of the house is actually the spawn point. But it is what it is. Send Laurie to daycare. Oh my gosh, and Coleman's going off to his first day of school. I actually want to get him a little bicycle. I think that could be cute. <gasps> okay, our first boy, your last name will be... Oh, wait, I guess because we're married. His last name will be Vitor. But I like all the kids having the same last name. So Tyler and your first name, we randomize three times. One, two, three. Jacob Tyler. Interesting if you end up being a vampire. Okay, and then we've got our second baby. Randomize three times. One, two, three. Carlos, okay. Jacob, Carlos, and our third baby. One, two, three. Tyrone, okay. So we've got our three kids. Yeah, we had triplets. Oh my gosh. And where are you guys? You guys are just spread out around the house. None of you ended up in the nursery. Okay, let's put you guys in there. Oh my gosh, I just realized you guys are all boys and your nursery is like super pink. <laughs> I'll change it around a little bit. Okay, so who's who? This is Tyrone in the middle. We've got Carlos and we've got Jacob. And I don't think any of you guys are vampires or else we would have got the certificate. Yeah, you're all human. <gasps> so Coleman is the only vampire in the family. And what is this sheep doing outside of the pen? Oh, and we've got mail. We can definitely pay that off right now before I forget. You know what? I think I'm going to leave this episode here. The chaos of the triplets is going to commence next episode. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Let me guys know what you think of the Lily situation with like the bunker. If I should make it a little rental. So 
she actually stays on the lot but then we won't be able to see inside the dungeon so I don't know you guys let me know what you think if you did end up enjoying this video make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys in the next video